So I captured these beautiful background elements using the Creality 3D Scanner Ferret. Amazing. Let's go through a breakdown of what I did and the actual process of creating this animation. I found this awesome spot nearby with a beautiful rocks and a beautiful ground texture. Decided to take the laptop down. I came across this wonderful rock that I knew that I was going to 3D scan. Um, I really should have for next time bring a brush just to clear some of the debris because I want these to be like big rocks. Here are some more rocks that I found that I can really visualize, you know, a cliff face, you know, spaceships flying through. And then uh, just as I was about to start scanning, I had a visitor. This is, this is what it's like being in Australia. Not everywhere, just uh, where I'm from, which is the capital. And then once again, more kangaroos. I don't dare go near them because I don't want to be kicked in the face. <laughs> So once those kangaroos had moved on, I found another nice rocky outcrop. This was something I was definitely going to be scanning, but I kind of just wanted to show you what I was working with. Here is the scanner being used at another location. Now, because I had somebody else, I could obviously record um, the capturing process at the same time. Let's have a look how these scans turned out now. Now I've imported these scans into Blender. I've done a little bit of cleaning up, but not too much. And this is how they've turned out. Now I've just got a simple sky texture on, but as you can see, the quality of the scans is pretty good from back here. Now we will create a scene in a sec, probably what the thumbnail looks like. And for those of you who follow me on Instagram, you would have seen the X-Wing landing animation that, uh, that I created using all these assets. Now, if you want to download these assets, they will be on my Patreon. Uh, and so far, I've had a lot of positive feedback about them. Just one quick tip when you're in Blender, rather than going Shift D to duplicate objects, I recommend actually pressing Alt D to duplicate. And this is because what it'll do is create a linked object, which saves resources. Because at the moment, if I go into edit mode, and we'll do this in solid mode. If I go into edit mode, you can see how I can manipulate these pieces. However, this one I did in Alt D. If I go tab into edit mode, you can see if I manipulate this one in edit mode, I manipulate both of them. So it's just kind of like saving resources. Now let's go through a bit of a time lapse and I'll talk you through it. But now I brought all my rocks that I've scanned into Blender to try and create the scene. And now I've added in the Tuscan Raider and just constantly posing him, trying to find the best location, really working on this foreground, the midground, and the background elements to get this scene to come to life. Now animating the X-Wing, fairly straightforward, but I mean, you can see just the renders look brilliant without even doing any work. I did end up putting a volumetrics in the background just to show, just incorporate a little bit more depth into the scene. And then uh, kind of let it render out and wham, bam, thank you, man. We've got a beautiful animation created from 3D scanned assets using the Creality Ferret. Uh, link in the description.